This is the Rakalia M, a budget micro ATX case with lots of airflow. Should this be your next chassis? Let's check it out. So welcome back to Junkyard Summit and what I have here today is one of the newer cases from Rack. For those who are not aware, Rack is a local brand that specializes in different peripherals such as keyboards, mouse, headsets, and as well as CPU cases. Early days of Rack are mostly just rebranded OEM products, but as the time goes by, they improve with their lineups and now offer some unique and great products, especially in their cases and mechanical keyboards. Most of the time, their items are targeted to more budget-oriented people, just like this Halea M that I have here. Going back, this case costs around 2,000 Philippine Peso and can be bought either from ECPC, Lazada, and Shopee. And if you are living outside the country, I don't think that there are other means on getting one as of right now. Again, this is a micro ATX chassis that can support both micro ATX and ITX boards. It measures 400 by 208 by 418 millimeter. A little large as compared to the Silverstone PS15, but with that comes with better component support. And what I got here is the black variant, but there is also a white version for this case. It can support CPU coolers with a max height of 160mm so it should be able to support a good number of tower style air coolers. GPU support is good too as it can support to a max of 360mm which should cover most video cards out there. Fitting your PSU in this case should also not a problem as it can support up until 150mm long power supplies but it could extend to fit most ATX PSUs out there if you decided to remove the 3.5 inch drive cage. Speaking of drives, this case can support to a total of 2 to 2.5 inch drives which is located beside the motherboard and 2 3.5 inch drives can be mounted in the removable drive cage. Hard drive mounting is not toolless which is a bit of a letdown in my opinion. Cable management is plenty for this case as space behind the motherboard is ample enough to route all of your cables. There are also plenty of cable tie hoops and velcro straps were included for cleaner cabling. The top I.O. features the power button, reset button, a non-functional LED button, two USB 2.0 ports, a single USB 3.0 Type-A port, and a dedicated mic and audio jack. So one of the unique things about this case is how it mounts its 2.5mm tempered glass side panel. Instead of using the more traditional thumb screws approach, Rack decided to go for a hinge type which has its own pros and cons. On one hand, it's really easy to open the side panel as besides on having a hinge, the glass itself has magnets that easily clips onto the frame itself. You can easily pop the side panel just by pulling the tab then lifting the glass away from the hinge. I really like how there is no screws protruding the side panel, but at the same time, I don't like how the pull tab extends like a random stock cloth. Another thing that I don't like here is how hard it is to align the hinge when sliding the side panel back. These are minor issues at best, and I'm glad that Rack opted for a different approach to eliminate the use of some screws. And with the recent trends of cases having meshed front panel again, the Halea M is no different and offers a ventilated front panel. It is not as fine as compared to the new Techware Alpha or the PS15 and this case also doesn't have a secondary filter so we can assume that dust buildup inside the case will be much faster as compared to the other two. Fan mounting support includes one 120mm at the back, two 120mm or two 140mm fan at the top, 3 120mm or 2 140mm fan at the front and at the same time the front fans can be also mounted in the front of the frame for more GPU clearance. Fan filters were included at the top and at the bottom for the PSU. Rack also included a single 120mm fan at the back and if you're planning on using it, make sure that your ears are ready for an obnoxiously loud noise from this fan. I suggest refrain from using it and go for a better case fan instead. The PSU shroud is also ventilated for a better air circulation which is great for your storage drives. Installing a 120mm radiator should not be a problem for the Halea M while 240mm AIOs are supported both in top and in front. A dedicated mounting support is included for an easier mounting of the radiator if ever you wanted to mount it in the front. 
Also, 280mm and 360mm radiators are not supported in this case, by the way. One thing I noticed though while building on this case is that the 140mm fan mounting in the front can't be installed close together but instead with a gap in the middle as there are no mounting holes for a 280mm style mounting. This is unfortunate as the case can actually accommodate it and I for one would like to use 140mm fan as compared to those 120mm. As for CPU and GPU temps, with the side panel on, my overclocked Ryzen 5 2600 only peaks at 79 degrees Celsius while my RX 470 is just around 72 degrees Celsius. Removing the side panel, we could see an improvement of 2 degrees for the CPU while the GPU surprisingly has no change. This small difference means that the front intake is great and most likely thanks to the bigger ventilation holes of this case. And for my verdict, the Rack Halea M is a nice micro ATX chassis that should fit a lot of hardware despite its form factor. The meshed front of this case is also a big plus for me and all in all I feel that this case is a much superior case as compared to the Silverstone PS15 which I reviewed a couple of weeks back. It is cheaper, has better hardware support, and overall has a more premium feel to it. Some minor flaws include non-reusable PCIe covers, annoyingly loud stock fan, a necessary front button, and lastly, an extra filter for the front intake wouldn't hurt. But for only 2,000 Philippine Peso, those minor flaws shouldn't be a deal breaker when considering this case. And if there is one thing that I think that they can improve on, my suggest is to fix the front mounting holes to have better support for the 140mm fans. And that's it for today's video. So what do you think of the Halia M? Let me know down below. And if you like the video, go hit a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel for more case reviews like this. Once again, this is Brain of Junkyard Summit. Thank you and see you in the next one.